Hi everyone, I'm going to share with you now all the completed sketches that I've done in Cumbria while we've been filming together the Rural Sketch course. So the first one that I'm going to show you is done down on the bank of the river Brathe. And this sketch was very much about trying to capture these two trees and the relationship between the trees as they, as they were sitting down along the banks of the river, but trying to give it some kind of context as well. So not just about the trees, but also giving it some sense of setting. So we have the river here, we have the embankments on the other side, we have the tree line, we have the mountains, we have this lovely little mound that it kind of sits on. And really just taking a line for a walk across the canopy of the trees as well, picking up all sorts of different tonal values and thinking of different ways of kind of marking and describing all the different textures that we can see. Then the second one that we did was on Little Langdale. And this is a very different kind of picture because this is a much more kind of spacious composition. So leaving lots and lots of white space, really strong angles showing the direction of the dry stone wall and the elevation as it sweeps down into the valley. Using the building as a focal point. So trying to get man-made structures in the composition as well. So it's not just all about organic features and shapes, it's about strong structures also. Lots of layering down this side here, trying to mark out all the different spaces that we can see. And of course being framed by the wonderful sweep of the hill in the background. And then the next one is back down on the river Brathe. This is the Cumbrian Way here. Okay, and this again is about two trees being treated slightly differently because this time you can't see the tops of the trees. They're cropped off at the top of the picture plane using a very, very limited palette of colors. So Windsor violets in uh, green gold and ultramarine blue. So this one's very kind of understated. The midground, which is the, the space behind the trees, is completely blanked out, it's, it's, it's lost. We've left it out totally, so things don't get over complicated. So the foreground is the two trees and the wall. The background is the layering of trees in the distance and the mountain, but the midground just gets pushed out. So this is very much about editing, missing out whole areas of space, so you can actually read what's going on within the picture plane. Also using the dark contrast of this wall to enable the trees to jump forward. And then the next one is on the road to Elterwater. I've even put it down there on the sign just in case I forget. Now this is about the relationship between the building, the white cottage, and the main tree, okay, which dominates the middle of the picture. And it's trying to differentiate between the organic shapes and how these kind of trees are just growing up and all the different textures that we can see. So contrasting that with the more kind of rigid structure of the windows and the roof line and the chimneys and the bricks as well. One of the things that I really found myself getting lost in in this particular picture was how from the bottom here going all the way up, I'm trying to capture lots of different textures. So down here you've got the crack in the road and you've got the stones. Then you've got the grasses, then you've got the leaves, then you've got the bark of the tree. Now the bark is really showing its age and it's starting to peel off. And you've got the contour lines as they go up, 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 just showing all the different textures. And then some of the branches come off here and you've got these kind of arced circles coming around just to show the growth and the direction in which it's moving. And this is what sketching's about. It's about noticing these things and coming up with different ways of trying to to capture the texture of them. It's also got the sign in as well, which is quite nice in case you get in case you get lost. And then the next one is in Langdale. And this is my Postman Pat picture. This, this to me is classic, classic Lake District. And you can just imagine Postman Pat and his little red van kind of bobbing along here, going past the grid, past the gates, turn the corner, turning left, following the sign, and dropping all the way down into Greendale. And this was a real treat to do because the location was amazing. We're sitting outside a pub, the weather was great. And it's all about just trying to capture this mid ground, okay? And just leaving it as one big rolling sweep of hill. 
also treating the back of this gate with negative space. So the gate really jumps out and it's balanced. The white of the gate is balanced against the white of the cottage. Also looking really closely at how these walls are actually constructed, the dry stone walls, how they're all kind of built up and all the little black shadows that you can see inside. And then finally noticing the wonderful little bits of detail that really bring it to life, like the little grid, which I'm really proud of by the way. And then finally, in a very remote part of this particular valley, we pushed on into to Langdale with a big sweep of the mountains coming down either side. So this is very much about capturing the fence and the gate, using that as the foreground, trying to work in the midground, which was quite tricky because it's really this wall here and this bank of trees, and then framed by the background. So this in some ways is different from the others because it's very much the subject. The subject is what's in front of you. It's a portrait in many, many ways of a fence which is a big, big feature of the Lake District. You know, we see these fences, these gates all the time. We got told off a of parking our car there, by the way. And the farmer came along in his, um, his quad bike and shouted at us and we disappeared, went around the corner and did this one instead. But it's all about trying to capture the portraits of this gate, but then having this wonderful layering effect behind as well. So these are the six sketches that I've done as part of this workshop. It's been great fun to do it and thank you all so much for joining us.